Hello YouTube, it's me, Ultimate Tech T. So, how have you been? So, I just am doing another gaming video, and in this video, I'm going to be playing One Piece Treasure Cruise. So, uh, today is Tuesday, the, the day I'm recording this, no, sorry, Wednesday, the day I'm recording this video. And um, in this video, I'm going to be doing the new Fortnite that came out. So, if you guys don't know, in One Piece Treasure Cruise, at least in my time, um, every Tuesday, 11 p.m., the new Fortnite slash, um, yeah, just the Fortnite's, uh, and yeah come out um so you guys can see right here may 10 19 um o'clock pacific time i believe so for me it would be eastern central or something like that i don't know the times um time zones and all that good stuff but um whatever for me i know it starts at 11 o'clock on may 10 um for you guys it may be different but so here i'll go to replay missions so um or adventures and also the kimono straw hats came out yesterday well, last night sorry and the smokers um thing fortnite so i plan on doing all three possibly for you guys but for now uh, i'll just be doing the um, Lungs um fortnite so i did the uh, five stamina ten stamina i'm gonna save fifteen stamina for a time when i need gems uh i don't wanna that, that's what i usually do i just leave the last gem uh, for like a dire need and then i just do thirty stamina I still have to do the training with Rayleigh. So if you guys haven't done this, haven't done this yet, um, by the time I upload this video, it's probably ended. But um, I would really recommend to do this um, if you guys are low level. For me, it doesn't really affect me much. Um, but uh, for you guys, it might level you up like five to ten times, uh, depending on your level. Um, it gives you fifty thousand XP, which is ten Fortnites essentially. Sorry, nine Fortnites, because each one gives you five point five thousand. So. Um, for Arlong, the team I use is uh, a double NL team. I'll show you right here. Where is my team? Right here, yep. So this is my team. Uh, just a very simple team. This is a, a basic quick team uh, that I have. Uh, most of these are free to play except the killer. Um, I don't. The specials aren't really important. The only special I do use is uh, possibly Kaku if I stall for long enough. I don't really use him. Um, Ivankov, I don't stall long enough to have her special ready, nor um, Raul Bluchi, but they're all pretty high leveled and um, decent uh, QCK characters, like quick characters. My sockets are bind, anti bind, but it's not really important since you don't get binded in this um, Fortnite. So, with this Fortnite, it's not a 100% guarantee success rate with this team, but it's pretty close. It depends on the ore block and uh, if you stall properly and you hit your perfects properly, obviously that's with every team. But with this team, it's like it's not a hundred percent you'll win every time. Okay, so for the first round, uh, the giant um, poisons you, so you poison throughout the island. That's one factor that could end end up uh, in you losing. So I'm not gonna stall in this, but um, and you could definitely stall uh, uh, for all your specials to be max. Since you're using a double NL team, uh, if you're using a double double NL team. It would help a lot because uh, no matter how long you stall, you will still um, recover your health. Okay, so like you see, I'm just speeding through. I don't really care about these guys. Um, oh, I got the secret boss. Wow, that's the first time I got him. That's pretty cool. Uh, I forgot what he does. I I don't even know because this is the first time I actually got him. So I'm very focused on um, defeating him. Does he do something under fifty percent? Is that what he does? I think he heals himself under 50% or something like that. Um, well, uh, he put despair on our captains. <laughs> if only we had anti despair. Whatever, we're gonna recover that much HP that we lost. With this team, I'll show you how much we recover after this turn. I don't think Chu is that hard, but I, uh, yeah, where he's dead. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I hit that miss. Um, I didn't even get to show you guys, uh, I was busy here. I'll show you guys how much I recover. So um, you guys will see that I recover 29, 2.9,040, so that's a lot, um, or 2,940, almost 3,000 HP that I recover, which is what, like, uh, how much percent of our health is that? 20%? Roughly 20% of our health we recover each turn, 20-25%, um, uh, I don't even know the exact math, I'm just doing it off my head, but uh, whatever, it's about that much percent, which is a lot, um, 
the recover isn't really useful for um, Arlong, but it is useful for all these uh, prior returns to Arlong. Uh, so that's why Dublin L is such a good team. You guys could essentially bring, uh, if you guys have an ace, um, or you guys could bring a legend Boa slash legend Marco. Okay, so uh, Kurobi, he switches all your orbs into, I don't know what he switched them to, but it's pretty uh, random. Um, sometimes I've gotten quick orbs, or and sometimes I've gotten just these crappy orbs, uh, especially when I run covers a crappy orb. So essentially what I do is uh, either I could just kill him right here, or I could stall. Um, let's just let's just stall a turn or two. Um, if you kind of messed up, but whatever, if you, we could stall on him because it takes him three turns to attack um, on his next turn. So we'll just stall for some good orbs since Arlong doesn't shuffle your orbs, so uh, you could stall for some better orbs. Which is what I'm going to do. Because um, to beat Arlong, you need some very good orbs. I'll show you. Hopefully, I don't hit or miss or anything. But, uh. Okay, there, that's good. Uh. <laughs> I was hesitant to uh, stall for Kaku's special, but then I'm like, whatever. Um, okay, so we got Arlong. What does he do? First, he puts up immunity, and he attacks with so much damage. He attacks for eight, nine thousand, almost uh, eight thousand four hundred seventy or seven hundred forty, some, some like that. Um, I don't really know the exact math. So, if we had Kaku's special, it would be a pretty much an instant kill. But since we don't have him, it will still do very good. So what I tried to do is I get him under 50%. Under 50%, he puts haste up. He he wouldn't. He's not gonna attack you this turn. So you save yourself one attack. And um, with haste, that means he's gonna be attacking every turn. Since we have one good orb on killer, I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take a chance and um, go for the kill. If I get him under 20%, you guys will see that I'll lose. So hopefully we don't get him under. Uh, oh shoot. Yeah, save, save. So if I were to get to hit a good or a miss, then I would have lost. But um, under 20%, he does 20,000 or 999 damage. I, I don't know, but he instant kills me. So um, he does more than 20,000 damage. Um, under 50%, you guys saw he does haste. But well, he doesn't attack for that turn. Uh, so I would recommend for your first turn, get him under 50% if you can. And then 50% the next turn, so it's a guaranteed win. If you do mess up, then <laughs> I guess sucks uh, sucks for you. But um, I don't know. I did mess up once. Um, it was when I was doing it uh, at night. I don't know. I just, I hit a miss and then I messed up and he killed me. So look, I, just, I got my first true. Kid true. Sorry, not kid. Young true. Right. What's the Sun Pirates true. So um, he has a decent special, but it's such a high uh, cooldown that it's, it becomes useless due to the cooldown. Uh, not any good books. <laughs> we got a true book, but um, the books are really bad. Uh, Mr. Four, I don't have him. Bellamere, I don't have her. Uh, Momo, I do, but not a very good special. Uh, decent, but not very good. Um, so uh, stay tuned for my other video. I'll be uploading a video of Smoke of Smoker. A uh, video of the kimonos, straw hats, possibly tomorrow the kimonos, straw hats, and the smoker during the weekend or something. Um, so I'll end this video off with uh, a really uh, battle. So let's just pick a random captain. Whatever, we'll just use our thing team, our QCK team that we just used. So i um, showing you guys just a second second go of him, uh, the QCK team. Uh, it's taking a while to load. Okay, so I'll show you guys really isn't hard, um, I'm just doing this for fun, obviously, uh, I have no use for this island, uh, other than, like, the 50,000 50, XP, which is pretty useless, for me at least. Being over level 200, uh, the 50,000 XP is, like, what, uh, 30% of the, X the XP bar for me, so it's, it's not a big jump, um, but, uh, for you level under level 100, it's it's a jump of like up to 15 levels depending on your level. So uh, how many turns is this essentially? Let me check. If it's too long, I'll just speed ahead through the rest and uh, end off the video right there. So uh, we just reached the boss of the... The island, so it was a 12 uh, stage island, pretty long. Um, it took me like what four minutes to beat it. Um, you guys obviously saw a speeded up version of it. Um, 
I think I just saw who was on each stage. It, it's just all the talking. It's this is an island more for like new characters uh, rather than old ones like me um, that are used to all the mechanics of the game. Um, I don't think they do this in the Japanese version anymore. I've been playing the Japanese version for like three months, four months, and I haven't seen this at all. Um, I had a. If you guys are wondering what you, what I mean by three four months, because you guys saw my previous Japanese video, I had a different account before that which. I decided to re-roll on, but I've never seen that in J J the Japan account. And yep, so um, this was my team for Arlong. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Share this with your friends, family, or anyone that's having trouble with this um, this Fortnite. And yep, so see you next time at Ultimate Tech T.